Welcome to Forensic Detectors, I am Dr. Cos, your guest meter, guest analyzer, and today I am your ammonia gas detector expert, folks, and check it out, the top three, the best ammonia detectors will be presented to you, and not only that, but you will be ranking them based on your specific application, because you know Dr. Cos's motto, it's all marketing jargon to get you in, folks, in that funnel, those marketing people, they're too smart, watch out for them. Anyway, let's get down to business. The most popular version of ammonia detector that we sell is our basic ammonia detector, folks. We sell plenty, plenty, plenty of them, folks. Why, look, it's an easy, affordable version, large screen, large buttons, fits in the hand very nicely. Farmers love them, poultry farmers, pig farmers. They pop it in, they check the ammonia levels in their poultry houses, for example, to make sure it's not too high. Or others in, for example, homes with Cat urine, you wanna make sure you're not breathing in the ammonia. It's not good for anybody, not good for humans, not good for livestock, folks. So that's basically it. Um, it is limited, that's why we call it the basic version. You cannot calibrate it, you cannot adjust the alarms. It doesn't have a rechargeable battery, it has a nine volt battery, it will last over six months, but it's a basic unit, people love them. You don't need the bells and whistles sometimes. All you need is something to turn on, turn on, Bang, and you're ready to go. Simple as that. Fantastic unit, and we have a top quality made in Japan sensor, folks. No bells, bells and whistles, but it drives like a Ferrari. Okay, next, we are talking about the Lamborghini now, the Hurricane. This is our model FD90 professional ammonia version, folks. Alarms are adjustable, you can calibrate it. It has all the bells and whistles. USB recharge battery. It does not turn off automatically, so this can sit there forever and ever, and it can be sampling and detecting, whereas our basic version turns off in tw about 20 minutes. Okay, so that's the difference. Some people want it to turn off automatically to save the battery. Some people don't want to turn it off. And also, by the way, like all our FD98 professional versions, you could pop on the gas sample pump and do point specific measurements, folks, instead of diffusive mode. Check our video on the difference. Depends on your application, you may need the pump where you're drawing air from the probe onto the cap and it forces air onto the detector, folks. And that's basically the setup. It's something like that. If you need this setup, we recommend the Ammonia Detector Professional Version FD90A. So that's the difference, folks. There are a few subtleties, a little bit pricier, folks, because it has a few extra bells and whistles. The third, that again, I would say a lot of farmers love, is our FD60 version, folks. This is what we call the fixed wall mount version. Plug it up to the wall with screws, or I love to actually pop some nice magnets and just mount it magnetically onto the wall or onto a metal pole. It has a large LED buzzer, audible buzzer, um, and it's a fantastic explosive proof detector, folks. The nice thing why people love this is because you pop it onto your poultry house again, as an example, you wire it up to the relays, and if it meets a certain alarm threshold, 20 ppm of ammonia it's going to turn on the ventilation system so it's an ammonia management system folks farmers love them so this is great again a little bit pricier beyond the basic ammonia detector just look at them obviously so that's basically folks again do your homework ask the correct questions if you have a question i have not answered in this video drop it in the comments smash the like button of course or ultimately i'm here to help drop us an email folks 30 day money back guarantee, one year warranty. We're not running away anywhere, folks. Be well, stay safe.